Pan Australian is on the cusp of developing a copper gold project which would have significant implications for the local economy in Laos. The uh, copper project could produce 50,000 tonnes of copper a year. The reason that we were attracted to Laos was that there was a project here uh, established by Normandy Mining and Anglo-American. And similar to uh, CRA at, at the Sephorn project and, and an earlier exploration effort by Newmont in, in this country, um, the, the work that they had done had, had identified some significant mineral potential in our, in our area. We have a, a contract area which has a term of 27 years, which uh, guarantees our rights from exploration all the way through to mining. And that sort of security of tenure is pretty well unheard of in Western countries, such as Australia, and it's a huge attraction for companies to make the move to Laos. Well, I'm very impressed. Everything we've seen over the last couple of days has sort of um, given me a lot of confidence in the potential of this area. Everything from, um, from yesterday's trip to today, and I think the management have certainly got, the, um, got what it takes to make something of it. So this is just showing that this is the massive uh, sulphide zone within the copper gold deposit, and we have intervals of this material varying from uh, 2 metres up to 20 metres in thickness. Oh, beautiful. So these are all um, encouraging signs and, and from a pan-Australian perspective it means that uh, we can be uh, assured that foreign investment is welcome in Laos and that we can, uh, we can do business in Laos which enables us to, to raise capital to, to complete the feasibility study on the Copper Gold project.